that whole chapter, which is fundamental to the 9-11 Commission report, was fabricated. Um, That's right. And so there we have, we, have, we have the closest thing you can get to <laughs> absolute proof there. And that's why the, uh, the, the, you know, the press won't deal with our claims because they're, they're irrefutable. Many of them are. And they also have quit characterizing us as a bunch of crazy, you know, kids on the Internet because now we've got all these professional organizations. Um, we've got, uh, you know, architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth with uh, about 800 licensed architects and engineers who signed a petition calling for a new investigation saying the official report on the World Trade Center can't be true. We have firefighters. Uh, lawyers, and we have some new organizations, and um, this is the day I'm going to uh, announce them, so I'll give you a scoop here. Um, we're, we're going to have uh, a new organization called Scientists for 9-11 Truth that will be um, up uh, probably later this week or next week, and also a new organization called uh, Journalists and Other Media Professionals for 9-11 Truth. And so that makes about 12 uh, professional organizations. Uh, this last year, uh, the new organizations formed were religious leaders for 9-11 Truth, political leaders for 9-11 Truth. We have several former and uh, present members of parliament from around the world. So it cannot be dismissed now as a bunch of uh, nuts who know nothing about the real world. We have pilots for 9-11 Truth. Military veterans for 9-11 Truth, uh, firefighters for 9-11 Truth. So the overwhelming weight of professional opinion among people who have actually studied the evidence is entirely against the official story. And yet the mainstream media still presents that as if, as if oh, all professional people in these uh, fields uh, support the official story, and it's only a few fringe people who, who question it. The, the, the truth couldn't be, uh, that couldn't be further from the truth. Absolutely. I, I, should, I should remind our listeners that next Thursday we have the privilege of, of welcoming uh, Richard Gage of Ar Architects for 9-11 Truth, who has done a lot of, uh, of in-depth research on, the, on the, the reasons why the buildings collapsed and uh, his, uh, the, the evidence by his group is unequivocal and supports the work which, uh, which David Ray uh, Griffin has, has, uh, has presented to us. So next Thursday at um, 10 Central, 11 Eastern, and 8 Pacific, Richard Gage of Architects for 9-11 Truth will be my guest on the Global Research News Hour. Uh, Jacques, are you still with us? Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, so uh, just to get back to the Montreal scene, uh, uh, what, uh, what is the mood? Uh, is there public support for the 9-11 truth movement in Montreal? Uh, uh, your movement has grown in the last few years. Uh, yes, I, it has grown. I think we're going to have to go for a commercial break. I'm, unfortunately, I hear the music. Uh, so after okay. the break, we'll, we'll uh, take a, a couple of minutes with Jacques Marcel. This is Michel Chasadovsky, the Global Research News Hour. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Global Research News Hour. We are now in the final uh, section of our program. Um, our guest is uh, Professor David Ray Griffin and uh, Jacques Marcil from the 9-11 Truth Movement in Montreal. Um, our website, www.globalresearch.ca, where uh, where we have an extensive archive of, of articles on 9-11, including the writings of, of David Ray Griffin. We were discussing before the break um, the issue of 9-11 truth in the Montreal region. Jacques, uh, could you perhaps elaborate a little bit what's, uh, what's at stake and what kind of support you might have from the broader 
um, public in, or public opinion in, in, in Montreal? Uh, I feel that uh, public opinion is evolving uh, on its own, uh, especially uh, uh, because people probably fear that they will be attacked uh, uh, personally, uh, that uh, they might lose, for instance, uh, large portions of their pension plans. And uh, uh, from my experience in dealing with the public, uh, I feel that uh, uh, they approve of what we're doing because, really, what are we doing? We're scouts. We're we're uh, scurrying on the internet. We're digging into the information uh, experts like uh, yourself, Michelle, and you, David Ray, provide for us, and and we're bringing this information back, and uh, we're dialoguing with the people, and. Uh, in a sense, we're we're trying to protect uh, them from uh, uh, the negative impact uh, in the future. So well, I think uh, that's a very important point that you make because it involves the concept of democratizing research. That research is not simply the, the activity of, of scholars and specialists, but it's it's the broadening uh, of people's capabilities. Uh, uh, to to analyze uh, complex phenomena and, and and I think that that precisely that's that's the kind of work we'd like to do with, uh, and that's what David Ray Griffin is doing that's what we're doing is we're trying to to uh, sensitize more and more people so that they can do their own research how how do you view that uh, David Ray hello well, yeah yes uh, this uh that has been one of, it's hard to find a silver lining, but one of the positive facts of 9-11 is that it has taught uh, a large number of people around the world something that many didn't know before, which was the fact that the mainstream media on the really crucial stories, the ones of, of the things that are happening behind the scenes where people are manipulating us, and uh, that there is a global, uh, increasing uh, global propaganda campaign going on. Um, people have learned that through this process, and, and you learn it firsthand. You know, it's one thing reading about other events, like the JFK assassination, which I've read a lot about, but I wasn't directly involved in trying to get the truth out. When you're directly involved, and when you know you're presenting things that are irrefutable, uh, because you know you're talking about maybe just internal contradictions, and, and showing that all these people lie. Normally, when people lie, you know they're they're covering up something. That's the surest sign that some that accused criminal really is the criminal when he's lying. And yet we've got all of these lies that are telling, and and you can't get the press even to report the lies then you realize how much the, the press is controlled, manipulated, where they do a lot of good work that convinces us, oh, they're on the job, but on the crucial stories, they do not uh, reveal, they actually conceal and, uh, and try to discredit people Wait. who are trying to get the truth out. I think we're, uh, at the end of the program, our guest, David Ray Griffin, this is the Global Research News Hour. Uh, join us tomorrow at 11... Uh, Eastern, 10 Central, with Stephen Lenman and Bob Chapman as his guest. Our thanks to our two guests, Jacques Marcille and David Ray Griffin. Thank you, Michelle. With recent.